Hello everyone in this video, let us uh, continue our journey of learning our groom. In the previous uh, couple of videos, we uh, learned how to set it up, how to create simple node, how to link nodes to each other. And the whole idea behind our groom is to have this interconnection of uh, nodes. And there is also one really good feature that I want to show you and that is uh, to create a graph. So when you have these nodes interconnected to each other you can actually uh, look at these interconnections uh, by by generating this graph which is in the format of uh, uh, svg file so you can actually uh, generate this svg file and you can open it in your browser so to generate the file all you need to do you can uh, run this command called org roam graph and uh, when you press enter it will create this file for you and you can of course uh, and by the way this file is uh, not only created but also saved to your temp directory you can press q to quit and if you want you can then go to your uh, maybe browser and uh, you can then look at the file so let me just go to the browser and uh, type in here uh, file I'll, I'll, I'll first go to my temp directory and uh, hopefully i can find the file so temp, where is my temp? Oh, no. Come on. All right. So let us do it again. File TMP. No, something is definitely wrong. Okay, so now I found my temp directory and, uh, and uh, if I click on this uh, file here, which I just generated, uh, you can see that this is my my interconnection of different nodes. So if you have been following my videos, I am sure you remember that I started by creating this node and then I started creating uh, these interconnections. So this is great because when you have different ideas, you may want to see those ideas uh, and how those ideas are linked to each other. Now, this is not it. The great thing is that when you click on this particular node in your browser, it can actually take you to the actual file so it, it can actually open the file for you so let me show you how it works so let us say if i click on second note and if i go back to my emacs you can see this file is now open for you and what i'll probably do i'll i'll probably bring the browser here so that you can uh, you can see this in working so i'll go to my i'll probably bring my my browser right next to the right next to the emacs so if i click on fourth note it will open fourth note if i click on this is my first note it can open this is my first note if i click on one more note it will open the one more note so this is all good and uh, and it works really 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 nice in my opinion but there are few things that you need to set up before you can uh, start uh, using it and of course i will show you how to how to start using it how to set up uh, uh, this graph now you need to install this package called uh, graph with i was able to found it in the arch repository so i installed it of course but uh, i'll let you do the search you can of course you know based on of course your operating system you can search how to install graph with on your computer and uh, once this is installed you need to do few things and those are not really complicated and everything is well documented in the official or Chrome uh, documentation but because i'm using uh, linux i'll of course talk about uh, how i set it set, set it up using a uh, few things by creating few files in my uh, linux operating system and i'm using by arch linux by the way so the first thing that you need to do you need to enable this uh, org roam protocol so basically when you create this uh, uh, file where uh, i mean this svg file if you click on those notes those note and uh, if you hover your mouse on top of it it will basically uh, follow it will basically look for the org protocol that you need to basically uh, define somewhere in your operating system that you know when you click on it when this link is open it should redirect it to emacs so the first thing that you need to do, you need to enable the org roam protocol. And you can do that by simply adding this line, require org roam protocol in your Emacs init file. This is step number one. Step number two is you have to create this uh, desktop application 
and I'm because I'm using uh, Linux, I followed the documentation and uh, it is very simple. You need to basically create this file called org hyphen protocol dot desktop somewhere in your. Uh, I, I mean, I just followed this uh, location dot local slash share slash applications, and uh, you have to of course register this uh, desktop application, which I will show you how to do it. So when you when you open this file, when you create this file, you have to basically uh, create a desktop entry. Now the thing is. What we are doing here, doing here is that when you click on that link in the browser, it will look for something. Basically, it will look for an, for an application where it can open the file, because that link has two things. It has uh, the protocol, which is org protocol, and it has the actual path to the node, because that node is nothing but uh, a file on your computer. Now, what you need to do, you need to basically run uh, Emacs client. So, Emacs client is basically one uh, one application that you can use so if, if you run emacs client and if you pass in the path it can actually open emacs for you but of course it will only work when you have emacs server running which you can do manually by doing this emacs server it is already running by the way i think <laughs> so uh, you just need to run emacs server and uh, to run emacs server you can either do run, run, it, run it manually or you can actually go to your oh, sorry you have to do start server not emacs server come on so let me just redo, sorry, undo, and uh, so you have to do start, sorry, server start, and uh, then, and that is it. So this is, of course, the last thing that you have to do, but uh, you can do it manually for the timing. But later on, we'll uh, add this line called server hyphen start in your Emacs, uh, in your Emacs file. So when, when you have the Emacs server running, you can then, uh, of course, in your desktop application, in this, in this file, you can define that open Emacs client and open this URL. Now, the thing is that, of course, in this particular file, we are using org protocol. And uh, if you notice, I'm not really using Emacs client here. I'm basically using this Emacs client new. So this Emacs client new is nothing but a shell script that I wrote for myself because uh, in my case, on my computer, the URL, uh, because uh, th there were some, there are slashes in the URL and uh, the URL, when it is encoded, it was not really properly working. So what I did, instead of using Emacs client, and by the way, you don't have to do it, most likely, but I'm just showing you this problem that I faced. So what I did, I, I basically used uh, this uh, shell script that I wrote uh, uh, to simply convert those, uh, or basically to decode the URL, because earlier it was uh, not in the, I mean, uh, I mean, if you look at the SCG file, I'll probably open it for clarity so that, uh, you can see what I'm talking about. So let me open the file very quickly. So if I open this SVG file, if you notice here, this uh, URL, I'll probably copy the link and I'll paste it here. Uh, in this in this URL, the slashes are basically encoded. But when you click on it, when I click on it, 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 it will probably not work. I mean, it was not working earlier. It will work now, but it was not really working earlier because uh, the the encoding or I should I should say decoding was not really working properly. So I found I, I did some research and I found this uh, way to decode this So basically convert those uh, percentage to F into slash uh, basically forward slash and then of, of course open Emacs client with this uh, encoded URL. So basically this uh, instead of I mean this shell script of mine Emacs client new is basically opening Emacs client with a proper encoded URL. And uh, of course, you know, I just wanted to share it in case uh, you have, you're facing similar issues. And by the way, to uh, associate your org protocol with Emacs client, you have to, so basically to, to enable this, because you, are, you just created this file, you can actually run this command. And of course it is mentioned in the documentation, don't worry about it. But if you are making any changes to your dot uh, desktop file, which I did, because in my case, I'm using Emacs client new, which I did later on. You need to basically run this uh, update desktop database. And of course, you know, just give path to your applications uh, directory and it will basically re-register re re this for you. And once you do this, you can, uh, of course, uh, run Emacs manually. Or in my case, uh, I'm just uh, using this line, server hyphen start in my .emacs uh, configuration and uh, and that is it 
that is all I did and now it works perfectly. I mean, uh, of course, I don't really use this uh, graph each and every, every time I'm looking at my notes uh, because as I mentioned before, I'm still learning or roam and I'm still trying to get the most out of it and I'm still trying to understand uh, various aspects of it. But it is good to know if you watch online videos of people showing something with org roam, they also show this uh, visual um, interconnections and I of course wanted to see this myself for my own notes and uh, in my case I faced some issues with the encoding of the uh, path of the file of the file path but most likely in your case if you just do or Chrome protocol or basically if you generate this file I mean generating the file is simple it will of course be generated for you uh, without a problem most likely uh, but uh, if you want to click on it and if you want uh, that particular node to be opened in uh, emacs then of course you have to create this uh, desktop application i mean this uh, entry using this file called org-protocol.desktop and you have to register it by running this uh, xdg-mime command and uh, and that is, that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.